Well, I'm melting down some of them wheel weights. So just making them into something a little more manageable and getting the tabs out of there. You know, somebody brought up something. You know, I, I'm sure people have run into this problem before lately where you are melting lead and all of a sudden you get that that iridescence from zinc in it. Well, I was always suspicioning that some of the lead weights were coming with a zinc plating on them. You know, because some of them, they're real shiny compared to a regular dull lead. But a guy brought up something that I think is true. I think the zinc plating is on the clip. Because that's not uncommon to use zinc uh, for plating nuts and bolts and stuff like that to keep them shiny from rusting. And I imagine, you know, if this is clipped onto your rim, this starts rusting, it's gonna start rusting the rim. So I can see where they could easily be zinc plating those. Well, his suggestion was to keep the temperature down until you get to the point where you can, you know, once they start getting warm, the lead just kind of crumbles away and you can get that piece out of there cleanly, quickly before it melts that zinc off there. Because the lead melts at 621, 0.5 zinc at 787.2 so if you keep that temperature down you can get the the lead and the tin without getting into the zinc which is a great advantage too because that zinc if you get it in there it can ruin a batch of lead so quick you know it, it if you try to mold it it's, it's granular it doesn't it just won't mold You know, the problem is, I like to, when I'm molding bullets that are going to be tumble lubed, I usually run the lead pretty hot. Uh, that causes you to get the wrinkly or the frosty type appearance on the bullets. You know, if it's cold, they'll be kind of wrinkly looking. If it's too hot, they'll get that frosty look. Well, there's an advantage to having the frosty look if you're tumble lubing because it gets the lube something to hang on to. So I like to do that, like for the 45, I tumble lube those, the mold is designed for that. By running it hot, you get a better lube. But my idea, if I can go through there, get all of these zinc plated clips out of there, you know, because like here's one without a zinc plating. Here's with that zinc. And you can see the zinc was starting to to bubble a little bit like it was going to come loose. But I think that's the thing. I think he's right. I think you just got to keep that temperature down until you get them clips out of there. Then you can jack it up and it'll be all right. Because it does make a mess. You know, I have seen people get a whole pot full of that stuff with the blue and red shiny on it and then you know you got a problem. But tin melts real low. Well, like 450, lead 621.5, zinc is higher. But if I can just keep the temperature down until I get all these clips out of here, then I think I'll be all right. But I kind of do it by guesswork because I don't really, I had a lead thermometer, but I kind of fried that. They tend to get fried. But you get kind of used to knowing when it's right and when it's not. But like I say, lead, when you put a piece in, it doesn't take long if you've got a little lead in the pot already melted. It kind of just crumbles away from that clip. And then you can hike that clip on out of there. But I think he's exactly right. I think that's, that's where the zinc comes from. Them damn clips. I never used to run into it, but it's something that you know, starting about five years ago, I started, ended up with, every once in a while, I'd see some zinc. And I'm sure 
you know, I, like I say, I was suspicious that they were plating the weights, but no, they're plating the clip. So you just got to keep her down. <laughs>